one of the main problems that we face while going for the interview of any company or while going for placements is managing so many things at once you have to manage dsa and problem solving you have to manage development and you need to have a good projects and along with that you need to manage cs fundamentals as well so in this video i'm going to tell you how you can manage everything in parallel so let's assume that you're able to give 5 to 6 hours every day and you have the next 6 months to 1 year for preparation then i'm going to tell you exactly what you have to do but the main thing is that people can only tell you what you have to do or what you can do to get success anyone can tell you that only right no one will do it for you at the end of the day you have to do it yourself i'm going to tell you what to do but you have to implement it okay so make sure that you stay motivated throughout you don't get distracted and remember that you're doing it for yourself okay so for the next 6 months to 1 year put your head down every day give yourself 5 to 6 hours dedicated to this and trust me you'll come out on top so enough said let's start the video and let's discuss what you can do in order to come to a level that you'll be able to crack the top companies interview now let's start with dsa so dsa is pretty important even though nowadays a lot of companies don't have that level of dsa but it's still important especially if you go for interview of top companies high paying companies like you have cred you have amazon meta google microsoft these kind of companies you'll still have some good level of dsa so of course you need to do some dsa and this is what you're going to do so you're going to take any sheet you can take any influencer sheet i'll also give a few in the description you can choose any of them so you will take the list of dsa topics so in the sheet you'll have topics like this you'll have arrays strings linked list stack queue etc graph trees etc what you're going to do you're going to go topic by topic and you're going to start solving problems now solving problems you should not do randomly or in a you know chaotic manner i always suggest do problem solving in a organized manner for the maximum output so this is how you're going to do suppose you take a easy problem with even before solving the problem even before sitting on the problem start the timer okay always solve the problem with a timer if you don't set the timer then you're going to get you're going to lose the track of time and you're going to spend a lot of time even on a easy problem which is something that you should not do so start the timer if it's a easy problem then this is what you're going to do for the first 10 to 15 minutes think of an approach think of an approach play around with test cases and try to think of the solution and after 10 to 15 minutes start coding the solution and because it's a easy problem it will not take you much time to solve the uh, code the solution so it will take you around 30 minutes to solve a easy problem but comes the question what if you're not able to think of an approach or what if you were not able to get the correct result then what to do so this is what you're going to do suppose you're not able to get the right solution or you're not able to even think of a right approach go to the discuss section and you can sort it according to approaches a lot of people have made some very good articles in the discuss section of each problem so try to take hints from there don't read it fully just take little bit of hints after taking the hints try again and if you're not able to get even from the hints then look at the approach and then try again if you're not able to get even from the approach then look at the solution okay don't jump to the solution first try to take hints from the discuss section then from the approach and then from the solution okay so if you're not able to solve the problem do this now again for medium problem you have to give a different amount of time so for a medium problem again start the timer and this is what you're going to do the first 15 to 20 minutes think of the approach you can start from a brute force approach and think on the way of how to optimize it okay and after 15 to 20 minutes around 15 to 20 minutes after you are done thinking of the approach then you can start coding the solution so within 45 minutes you should be done with solving a medium problem and if you're not able to solve the problem or if you're not able to get the approach follow the same step the discuss section take hint if not look at the approach if not look at the solution now comes the hard problems so if you are not like accustomed to solving hard problems so if it's your first time doing dsa then let me tell you right now you'll not be able to get a hold of hard problems initially because it's very difficult to solve the harder problems on lead code and you you will struggle you will have troubles but don't get frustrated with yourself give yourself time don't get frustrated and remember no one just went to lead code and started solving problems and were able to do everything without any issues everyone goes on lead code everyone does dsa 
everyone has struggles everyone has trouble finding the solution or thinking of the approach especially in the harder problems so be patient with yourself now again with the hard level dsa problem try to give yourself 25 to 30 minutes for an approach then in the rest amount of time try to code the solution you should be done in with the, within an hour or something like that so this is what i would suggest to you half an hour for easy 45 minutes around for medium one hour for hard problems try to solve around three to four problems every day and be consistent with it so there there are days then where you don't feel like solving problems so you don't feel like doing anything but i would suggest be consistent with solving problems if you end up not solving problems for a lot of days then you lose that edge you know you lose that streak so don't let that happen be consistent with solving problems now after you're done with dsa take a walk take some rest have something to eat have some water relax for a while listen to a song and then comes the next part which is cs fundamentals so in dsa you already went into a lot of problem solving mode you had to do a lot of thinking now i suggest do cs fundamental i don't suggest doing development right after dsa because in development also you have to think a lot of problem solving dsa also you have to do that so in between have cs fundamentals now what to do in cs fundamentals i've made two pretty good pretty good videos on that where i've covered every topic and how you can learn that so i'll suggest watching those videos as well i'll give a link in the description but basically you have four subjects you have operating system computer networks and op and dbms these are generally the four subjects that you get questions in interview from so what you're going to do is for each of these subject you have to make notes so you can learn the most important topics either from geeks for geeks or you can learn from gates mashes he has a great youtube channel where he explains the concepts in depth so you can learn from there and make notes give it one hour every day think of it like passing time it's not that complex it's not that difficult you just have to understand the concepts it doesn't require much problem solving just understand the concepts just make notes and just learn about it so you can even do it like while you know you're resting or something like that it doesn't require much throughput to be honest so make notes what's important here is making notes so if you make notes you'll be able to revise it also before the interviews so i highly suggest make notes for each of those subjects now after you're done with cs fundamentals then comes the main part which is the development now in development one thing that i always suggest to the uh, person who wants to start development is don't take it as a burden a big mistake that a lot of people do they take development as a burden don't enjoy the process of building something as a software engineer what is your primary work your primary work is to build something to develop some application to develop something cool so think of it like that think of it like you're building something cool take interest in that and the process will be much 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 easier if you're passionate about it then you'll have a great time doing development so this is how you're going to do pick any tech stack you can choose mern stack you can choose java full stack i've also made a video comparing the two and you can choose even any other full, uh, like uh, tech stack as well but whatever tech stack you choose take a crash course on that whether you choose a free course on youtube or whether you choose a udemy course anything is fine on youtube you have some great resources you have code with harry you have sherian's coding school you can choose any of those i'll give a few free resources in the description take any of the free course and start learning okay start learning whatever they're building build it exactly the same way okay because right now you're just learning once you feel like you have a little bit of hand in it whether whatever tech stack it is once you feel like you're having a little bit of hand in it then start building something of your own and start creating a cool project now how to make a cool project again i've made an entire dedicated video on that i'll link that in the description from there you can like figure out how to make a good project and what you should have in that so once you're making the project you can take reference from the course you can take reference from chat gpt you can take reference from stack overflow you have a lot of resources available but build something cool build something that you're proud of and then put it in your resume put it in your portfolio and one thing that i suggest while doing development is again taking notes because what happens you create a project and five months six months after that you start forgetting what you did you start forgetting the challenges you faced you start forgetting why you implemented a feature so it's best to keep notes and keep comments in your code so that you can take reference before the interviews so this is how you can sail through the development part so you can divide your time something like this you can have a good chunk of it to dsa a good chunk of it to development and the remaining to your 
CS fundamentals. Now, even after knowing everything, knowing what to do, it's still not going to be easy. Let me tell you, I don't think it's going to be easy. It is going to be difficult, but it's 100% possible and you can easily do it if you put your mind into it. Take regular breaks and give yourself time to do what you like. If you have a hobby, continue following it. If you like doing something, social media, whatever it is, talking to friends, keep those things going on the parallel. But manage these things. I never suggest keep focus all your time only in preparation. Do things you like, do preparation together, and only then you'll be able to do things with a fresh mind and actually learn things. So that's pretty much it, guys. Just do this, follow this for the next six months to one year, and trust me, you'll be able to be in a position that all of these things, whether it's DSA, whether it's development, whether it's CS fundamentals, all of these things will be cakewalk for you. Just follow the process, be consistent, be passionate about it. And that's pretty much it. There's no secret. There's nothing like that. You just have to be consistent and you just have to be dedicated. If you have any doubt or if you want to talk to me about something or if anything is like that, then you can feel free to leave a comment. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. So that's all. Thank you.